that's some that's some good coffee this morning guys we are on our way up to the up to chow motorsports dealership and i stopped at casey's got myself a cup of coffee and i'm in the hulk <laughs> i'm in the hulk our setup she's squatting quite a bit we have we have quite a bit in the back of the trailer the, in the in the triple axle enclosed 30 i think it's 30 or 35 foot trailer it's a huge trailer nonetheless gooseneck oh no we're getting stopped by the train here gosh dang good thing i got my coffee to sip on here there she goes laying on the horn dude but we can take this time to admire my beautiful setup at the very least again last episode you guys saw the hulk and again thank you so much to Shena shenanigans modding if you guys want to check out their facebook page i'll have it linked in the description and pretty pretty much everything in this video is from them at least all the cool stuff so all you have to do is join the Facebook page and you get access to download the mods for free. So I don't know if you like the mods, it's super easy to download them. Just head to their Facebook page. There we go. I got the moon roof open, sunroof, whatever you want to call her. But it's a nice morning here and I have a few, I have a, quite a few new toys, three new, excuse me, four new lineups that we're bringing to Chow Motorsports. Now these are four new models, four new brands. We're going to have a Polaris Ranger. Canam Commander and a few others that we're bringing in. We do have a Canam Maverick that has a few little tweaks. It's, I think it looks amazing. It's a new one that Shenanigans came out with. So I will see you guys. We'll showcase them, and then I have to deliver a few sales that we make to customers in town, or a few are out of town. But I will see you guys once we get on top of the mountain. Yay! But before we get there, I almost forgot that in the description as well, guys, there's a 5% off link in the description to G Portal, dedicated servers. If you guys are interested in hosting servers with your friends, playing with a bunch of people and doing it very efficiently and organizing mods, uh, I really recommend dedicated servers if you play on FS19 multiplayer. Check it out, 5% off, link in the description using that code, or excuse me, using the link. So check it out, guys. And we're almost to the top. The Duramax, she's whistling, climbing up. Some We have some steep grades getting up here. I think we had like six. I think it's six or it's it might be seven percent on one of the steep stretches but she's been whistling it's not that much weight but it is it, it's quite a bit the trailer's pretty heavy and we have four units in the back and with the truck being lifted it lifting a truck does not help it when towing so um I know a lot of people are like making fun of me because I tow with this thing I mean I don't I don't tow like super heavy and I use it to like showcase our equipment and stuff and Pretty much I have it because it looks cool and she's a dually. So we're going to get everything unloaded here. The setup did great. There we go and fold the ramps. All right, here's the cool thing. I'll show you guys how this works exactly. Okay, I got everything unloaded and disconnected, but what I was trying to show you guys, and I actually had some problems with it. I had to drop the camera, but we can, I mean, the nice thing about like airbags in a truck, right? Is you can slide underneath it. So like, let's just say, you know, let's open the tailgate here. The tailgates drop, we're coming in to the gooseneck and then we'll be able to get under it and then once i attach or excuse me like once i press once i raise up my suspension then i can pick up the gooseneck and it just makes it uh it makes it a bit super nice because you don't really have to mess with the jacks uh like going up and down a bunch so saves me a bunch of time here i'll raise her back up but that's pretty sick and i was just unloading the ranger here so this is the players ranger 1000 pretty much everything we got here so we're selling new lines we kind of have we haven't hit a plateau but we sales have really slowed down and a lot of people have been coming in asking for utility utility vehicles utility razors and stuff so we picked up two lines we picked up the k&m commander here she has a utility bed it's uh it's a little cheaper of a model it's not as big utility bed but and it's a uh i mean it's a two-seater i guess if you want to say just that i guess it's not a bench it's not a bench yeah it's more it, it's got more like the car feel than the players ranger it's your typical bench it, it's still like pretty nice these aren't cheap and stuff has nice rims a tail uh a winch in the front all that good stuff and then we have the player's general. This is a little nicer compared to the Ranger. A lot of people like this. It still has like quite a bit of power and beefiness. If you want to uh, go have fun with it on the weekend, you can. But it also has the bed, which like so many people want the bed. It's just so, you know, you have a farm. You're driving around your farm. You see some rocks in your field. You just throw the rocks in the back of the bed. And then this is our new 2019 Can-Am Maverick X RS. This is the, the racing type. And it's the color combination on this. Is just classic Can-Am. It looks like a beast, and we put some bigger tires on here. I'm actually gonna take it on the track, see how she fares. I was wondering, we, I mean, even on this, you you still have a bed on the back. Well, I mean, even this, maybe maybe some farmer or maybe like a recreation guy that likes to rip around more than than use it as a bed, but he can still put his cooler back there, put a few logs back there, whatever. 
So there we go. Those are our four new. We have three utility. One, technically, it's it has a bed, but oh gosh, I can't am rips. And then check out the trailer. I haven't shown you guys the inside. I, of course, I matched it with the green uh, glow lights on the interior of this thing. When I take it to shows, people are gonna, their mouths are just going to drop and they'll love it. All right, let's get back up here, hooked up, and I'll put this behind the dealership. All right, first, things I'm gonna, first thing I, I'm going to do, and I said this a while ago once I knew we were getting this, is I'm taking this sucker on the track. She's pretty zippy, so I need I need to be careful. Get familiarized with it. And uh, from our last from our last time when we went to the meetup, I still haven't. I need to unload that trailer because we the cops were after us. All that crazy stuff. If you guys remember, just a few days ago, I just hadn't I hadn't taken it off. Maybe I'll you know what? Maybe first thing, like I said, get used to it. Let's go hit some, let's go hit the trail first. Here we go. All right, let's just hit the trail. Get used to the throttle. Get used to the brakes and everything. She stops. She stops really quick. Honestly, it kind of feels like I mean it's as smooth as a Cadillac almost. So I think we're good. We'll try and cut through these here. All right, let's hit the track. See what we can do. Not gonna hit our uh, our YOLO ramp. Here we go. Here's a good jump for us. Here we go. Okay, still nose dives. I was, I was thinking, you know, maybe I could put some weight in the bed if it does dip a little bit because the engines in the engines in the back too but i don't know they seem like they always dip oh that tabletop was perfect okay we're coming around this is technically where we usually start okay i spun out a little bit there that's all right suspension is killer Let's take our first little whoops there we go popping the back end up oh gosh here take the inside come on big cat there we go there we go looking good here's our first jump we hit let's see how we hit it coming straight okay it's not bad it does nose dip but that jump always does it here we go Build up some speed. Want to hit that tabletop just like we did last time. That was almost perfect. Here we are. Oh, come on. Spun out a little bit. Oh, we, we had too much speed. All right. I think we are. Uh, I think we're good. I'm used to it. It's pretty. I love it a lot. Let's hit this jump here again. See if we can clear. Come on. All right. Not too bad, but we are delivering two. Or you know what? I think maybe just one today. Another one tomorrow to customers. Another one we got we to gotta clean up. We're, we're, we're delivering the, the general, the player's general to a customer. So I better get doing that. We'll hook up. I'll show you a new trailer I got. I actually want to test it out on cement. I've only actually used it off-road. It's an off-roading trailer. Here we go. Hit this tabletop. Oh, a little short there. All right, let's see. Can we land this? Hey, over the trailer. Okay, that's sick. We'll, uh, we'll wash this sucker off, put her inside. She looks really good. But here's the trailer. It's hooked up to our C70 Chevy tracked because last time we had this, it was in the snow and... It was a long story short. We ended up using it for recovery, and this is this is what we got. It, it ramps are built into it. It's dual axle, so it, it can hold quite a bit of weight. And then it has crazy clearance, crazy. It's just built tough. So that's what we're always gonna use whenever we do recoveries, whatever we're doing. That's what we're gonna use. Because a lot of times we can't bring our big nice trailers in to a spot where something's broken, something needs to get trailered out. So that's this is pretty much our recovery trailer. I haven't mounted a hitch on it. Or not a hitch, but a winch, because we, we're going to need a winch on it when somebody's hub breaks loose, tire comes off, whatever. All right, I got my hitch all the way. Let's lower it all the way down. I'm thinking I could I could squat down here. Okay, let's squat down, raise the hitch back up a little bit. All right, raise the hitch. Okay, that's a pretty level load. Let's see. So this is, let's, this is fully up. Okay, honestly, I'm probably just going to ride it fully lifted and lower the hitch all the way, even though I'm probably not getting the best towing capacity. It, I don't know. I like to, it looks better this way. All right, but for loading, I'll lower it down. And then that way, oh, I think that's the best. The other way, it's kind of, it's just weird. It doesn't work too good. Jump in the general. I like this a lot. It's got the full cover over. doesn't have a windshield, but it has a rear view mirror. There's, a few things that the customer can always add through us but the box is probably the deepest box and it's an automatic that you can do from the inside so you don't have to get out and manually lift it all right let's get her loaded up here yeah this trailer this trailer is nice it's clean it's easy there we go i would say that's probably enough tongue weight we should be good for safety all right fold in the ramps there we go we look good we're strapped down there we go we're good and strapped we're gonna head to the customer's place What's nice, it's fun doing deliveries because we, we charge them quite a bit for a delivery. But here we go, coming down. You just see how the trailer has crazy clearance. See, there we go. Check this out. Look, we don't even scrape. We don't even bottom out. It's it's perfect. So I'm going to have the customer out, customer's house. I'll see you once we get there. All right, this is a little strange. So the customer's address is right here on the right. Which it doesn't... I guess it it is a road. Okay, so 
I guess this is his place. Maybe this is his workshop or something. I don't think... I don't think somebody would live in there. It's like a cabin. I guess somebody could. All right, there is a truck outside. So let's go ahead, unload it. Get it unloaded here. There we go. There's the address. Oh, I should probably knock on the door before I unload it just to make sure everybody's home. But there is a there is a truck here. So I'll, I'll go talk to him. All right, so just got done talking with him. There it is. He said, just leave it right there. And he paid me and we're good to go. We got the delivery out of the way. I'm not too sure how I'm going to back down this. I guess I'll just pull on this grass. It's probably just fine. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Like I said, you can, like most of these mods, yeah, obviously you have to have PC and stuff, but check out Shenanigans Modding Facebook page and uh, check out G Portal as well. Link in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.